Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, August 13th, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, you click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. We are on a 15-5 and five run with my last 20 going back about nine days, and you can use the free $60 on any of my daily packages again at DocSports.com. Again, all you got to do to get the free $60 account, click on the link below the video, get yourself set up, and get at it. I think you'll be glad that you did. We'll get to our free pick in just a minute. Got a couple of things to talk about, including our over-under wins play on the Texas Longhorns upcoming football season. We'll also get to that. First, a quick note. Uh, we had a free play winner here last night. Got right back in the win column. We had the over between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Angels. Here's the thing. Uh, actually thought it would kind of go the other way with the Angels scoring the majority of the runs and Pittsburgh doing enough to push it over the total. It kind of is one of those things where like you have a pitcher who's looking to throw one over the outside corner. The catcher sets up, sets up outside and the ball instead comes inside, but it goes over the plate. It's a called strike. One of those kind of deals, man. We thought we had a high scoring game. We just thought the Angels would do the majority of the scoring. That was a rare, what's been of late, a rare premium loss for us, but the overcashed here as far as the free pick was concerned concerned. We're 15-5 and five with our last 20 premium picks and uh, we've got a couple going on Tuesday's card. I've got one from baseball five unit play in Major League Baseball on Tuesday and now that the WNBA is back after a day off, we're right back in WNBA action 26-15-2 with our last 43 WNBA plays. So you'll get both WNBA that's at 1 p.m. Eastern, our post time over at DocSports.com on Tuesday. Baseball will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And again, five unit in baseball, four unit in the WNBA. We'll look to sweep and go to 17-5 and five with our last 22 plays over the past nine or ten days now. So we've been hot and uh, we look to stay that way on Tuesday slate. Check it all out over at DocSports.com. And don't forget my NFL preseason picks will be available at DocSports.com Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Week two preseason. I know a lot of folks like week three. I like week two better than any other other week in preseason football. We went 2-0 and oh, and I sweep in preseason week one. Don't miss out on week two. It'll be available Thursday along with my CFL plays 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. All right, free pick coming up in baseball for Tuesday in just a second. Let's get back to our thumbnail sketches, our over-under wins plays in college football. And today we're taking a look at the Texas Longhorns. And here's the thing. We're going to use, by the way, a couple of books, Westgate, Caesars. They all have nine. And that's what we're going to use here. Um, couple of things here. Texas seems to be one of the more overhyped, overrated programs right now heading into the 2019 season. This team, like, they, they lost a lot. They lost 13 starters from a year ago. Not just 13 starters, 13 senior starters from a season ago. It's a lot to replace. And I like Tom Herman. Nothing but respect for this head football coach. And he's bringing in and he's brought in a nice class uh, for Texas. But it's going to take a while to get them on the same page and get them acclimated uh, to what they want to do in Austin. In Texas, I don't think it's going to be this season. I think it's going to be next season. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit surprised at these Sam Ellinger Heisman numbers dropping. The odds are dropping uh, down to that 10 to 12 to 1 range after being a good 25 to 30 to 1 at one point not all that long ago. And I don't agree with the money coming out of Ellinger. I get it. If they have a great season, if this team wins 11 games or 12 games on the season, it's going to be because of Sam Ellinger and he's going to be right there in the Heisman mix. But here's the the thing. I don't think they get there. If you look at what I said, the, they have a lot of bodies to replace on both sides of the football. They've got a very young offensive line that I think is going to cause the offense a little bit of a speed bump here and then, and this is probably going to keep Sam Ellinger from being in the Heisman mix late in the season, that offensive line. And then you look at the schedule. It is tough in certain areas. They're home against LSU, second game of the season. I have LSU winning that football game. Uh, they've got a home game against Oklahoma State. I that's pretty much a 50-50 game right now as we get ready to head into the season. Uh, they've got a roadie at West Virginia, follow the next game out by their neutral side game against the Oklahoma Sooners. And listen, West Virginia is going to be a little bit down, but that's basically just over a 50-50 game for me in favor of Texas. And I have them losing to the Oklahoma Sooners. They've got Iowa State on the road in Ames, Iowa in November. Never an easy place to play. And I actually have Iowa State a 58% chance of winning that football 
football game head to head against Texas. Again, factoring in also Ames, Iowa. Besides the losses coming to Iowa State, LSU, Oklahoma, that means basically right there, at the worst, we get a push if they win all their other games. But I don't think they go unscathed at West Virginia, at TCU, at Baylor. I think they lose at least one of those games. And that Baylor, Texas, excuse me, that TCU, Baylor uh, situation, those are back-to-back -back games later on in the season, both coming away from home. So for me, listen, it takes 10 wins to beat us when we're playing under nine they might get to nine that's a push that's the worst we do I believe if everything goes right for Texas they win nine games I really think this team is an eight win team this season I think they're heavily overhyped and we like them under the total of nine again under nine wins the Texas Longhorns I'm not going to be shocked at a seven win season probably going to be an eight win season at the very most nine and again we don't lose if it falls on nine so under nine wins texas longhorns this upcoming 2019 campaign again before i get to the free pick for tuesday's baseball real quick note once again five unit play in baseball ready to go on tuesday available to you at docsports.com 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific and that four unit wnba play which will be available at 1 p.m eastern 10 a.m pacific 26 15 and 2 WNBA long-term run now this summer and again 15 and 5 with the last 20 overall over at DocSports.com. Free pick for Tuesday's card. Let's get to a battle of Southpaws and Philly. It's going to be Quintana for the Cubbies and Vargas for the Phils. Here's the thing about the Cubs with Quintana. Listen, I know the Cubbies have let a lot of people down on the road this year. They have won seven in a row when Quintana's been on the mound no matter where the venue has been and sometimes you look at that and you think, okay, well the guy might have a four 50 ERA just gets a lot of run support but what I like out of, a Quintana, out of Quintana of late you look at his last 41 42 innings pitched real nice strikeout to walk ratio six to one K to walk ratio over his last 41 plus innings pitched I like that I like the fact that in his last four road games his ERA is below 3.2 his whip is about a buck 20 it's a 123 to be exact so he's pitching well his last four on the road for the most part he does get support and it's been let's face it it's been a long long time few years since we've looked at Vargas and said boy this guy's got something special going uh, he's making what is it now uh, just a few starts now with the Phillies uh, in 2019 and I just don't like him in this spot I think you've got not only a pitching advantage in this game for the Cubbies but also look at Philadelphia coming off a tough road trip lost five of the last six games on that seven game road trip and they've only won seven of the last 16 at home we're gonna side with the Cubbies a recommendation on the Cubs our free pick right now as I speak they're laying in that dollar 20 to dollar 25 range on the road over Philadelphia all right that's going to do it for us for Tuesday hope you like these videos hope you like our college football futures if you do be sure to click on that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe we do appreciate those who have done so thus far I'm Scott Spritz of DocSports.com let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific